Hey Mickey, yeah, the trick I was showing you, you can't do in the page itself because it's locked by a dynamic web template. You can always unlock it. However, what I suggest you would do though is if you find something like that, like we went to 447, right? Yeah, don't try and change it in the page directly. Or I'm going to show you another trick yet again. Okay, here's your text logo right here, right? You see where it says index here? See this yellow code here? What you can do, however, is you can see this all this in yellow? Put your cursor somewhere in here where it says um, the name of your logo. Then down at the bottom here in the properties, it should say it should say MM Live Item. Yeah. Select it. Delete it. Okay. Hit enter a few times to give yourself a little bit of space. Put your cursor back in the space you've created here. Go back to go over to the assets panel, window assets like so, and then go find the logo wrapper. And we have, hang on a sec here. Um, if you have two copies of it, one's just showing up. Ghost, pick the top copy, the one that actually has your name in it. Okay, so if you see two like that, just pick the top one. See, it says Delaware Collins. There we go. Well, it doesn't say Collins. That's one I changed. But select the logo wrapper. Hit insert. Okay, then preview your page. That'll update an individual page. But what you were, what I was explaining was use the find and replace, right? So you would select a piece of text, right? In this case, it would say something like three column. We'll just use index as an example. Just select it, go to edit, find and replace, right? And then use uh, you know, any any you know three column, you know. Uh, just replace with uh, index. But make sure that's you know if you're going to use th go with a .htm, .htm something like that is what I'm trying to say. But make sure the index page is closed before you go and make your updates. Okay, that's another trick you can use. But yeah, I I don't have a team view or anything like that. That's why I mean I use video. A lot of the times we used to do that. It would take a, it was a long process. Um, and we get very little results because not being in the room, taking a look at the computer, oftentimes I can, you can show me what's going on, but I don't know how to fix it without access to your computer and trying different things. So I can show you different tricks to get things working. I can fix the site and send you an updated copy, right? That's sort of the level of where I, what I can actually be feasible and actually getting some results or helping you out with, I guess.